Uh, I'll I'll take you to a corpus mission this time. All right. Because it, by the look of the draw, you kind of got a kit that's suited towards that. Uh, you know what? We'll go. I'm pretty sure Venus has some. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just hit up the survival mission. Alright. So survival's kind of like defense. Uh-huh. The only real diff- Oh, wait, hang on. What? I almost forgot to switch my loadout. <laughs> I'm gonna go for my big duration build this time. But yeah, survival's kind of like uh, is kind of like defense. The difference being instead of doing uh, instead of doing waves of survival, we're basically just playing for time. So the longer you stay and fight, the more rewards you get, which is kind of the same as defense, but you have a bigger map this time. Mm -hmm. is raiding this ship for supplies. You are here to distract the enemy. Trigger the alarm. They have just shut down all systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way. life support modules dropped by fallen enemies. Yeah, so if you look to the left, it'll show how much life support we have, and when that runs out, we don't die, but we'll start, like, losing health, and it'll be a real big pain in the ass. Hmm, alright. Uh, and we can keep this up by either killing them and taking life support modules off of them, or sh Lotus will occasionally drop us bigger ones right here. These are worth like 30% of our life support, so they're not really worth using until we get to like 70 or lower. Personally, I don't bother with them until we get like 50. Life support on the way. But yeah, we just basically hang out, we kill dudes, and uh, every five minutes we get another reward. Also, these guys are way more your level anyways, so if you get caught out, it's not going to be as punishing as the last one. I got one.
delivered another life support capsule. Life support has been replenished. Oh, whoops. There's no friendly fire, so you don't have to worry. Oh, hi. Ready for a capsule. Oh yeah, I forgot I had mock crash. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, nice. Another life support capsule is now available. The deadlock protocol? What's that? Oh, that's another quest. It is kind of a cool one, but I feel like that'd probably take a little too long for tonight. Yeah. The raid is off to a successful start. When you need it, extraction is ready. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Anybody else coming? Yep. Most wise founder, protect your avaricious <laughs> Support incoming. Delivered another life support capsule. 
Headshot. That's the beauty of working with a pistol. You can get your aim well. Headshot. Life support on the way. Nope. There are a lot of shotguns that are fun in this game too. Oh, I'm sure those are fun. It's either pistols or shotguns that I get fascinated with when it comes to weapons. Oh wait, that's a different player. Another life support capsule is now available. I guess it's time to go. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. Share in this bounty. Hold out as long as you can. Yeah, so because we stayed for ten minutes, we got two rewards as opposed to one if we had just stayed for five. All right. But yeah, that's how survival missions work. Okay. They're also, once you start getting to that point, they're a really good source of resource farming. Uh, and there are certain ones that are like really, really good because they'll be like, oh, you get additional resource. You'll get like a 20% extra resource drop if you, you know, if you're on this particular planet or this particular node or shit like that. That was a good practice run. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty simple as far as things go. Uh, See, I take it you're very tired. I got enough for like one more in me, I think. Hmm. Just trying to decide which one. Capture is very easy. It's literally you find one guy, you attack him, and then once he gets incapacitated, you send him away. Alright. Oh, yeah, Message it would help if I. Uh, yeah, you can literally do this in like under a minute if you get really lucky. Alright then. There what? There's an ISN over here. Operator, are you enjoying the view? And all right, cool. Okay, now we just have to kill everything. Cool. So, kind of port style, or is is something else? Not really. It's just 
kill a certain amount of enemies. Alright then. I think the idea is we weren't supposed to get caught, like, approaching him, but I, it really isn't that big a deal. It's just kill 50 enemies, which is basically nothing. Alright. All right then. I suppose after yeah, like after this, we'll call it a night. <laughs> yeah, we've been playing this game for over four hours. Oh, trust me. Yeah, I have like four hundred hours in this game, and a lot of the a lot of it has just been playing on and off throughout the years. All right. It took me a long like it's one of those games that. It's taken me a long while to actually, like, appreciate what it's about. Okay. Like, TF2 was another one of those where it's like I didn't get it for, like, years. And then one day it just finally clicked. I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, okay, now it makes sense as to why everybody fucking, like, holds it as a pinnacle game. I still have yet to stream that game. I imagine how fun it would be taking on the machines again. Yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, this is another one where it's just like... This is another one where it's just, uh... You can just do that. Kuba, that is not the longest stream. The longest stream was when I was spending eight hours finishing Super Mario RPG. Yeah. Yeah. And were you not with me that whole time? No, we were. We were like it was just the two of us finishing the game. No, I'm talking about that mission that I was just doing. Oh. Yeah, it's like a minute. I'll fucking run through it again. It's not a big deal. All right. Yeah, I could have sworn that you were with me, but I guess not because there were only three people in that session. So I was like, "What the fuck?" Well, it was like a last bit. Uh, what about Akarani when he first streamed it? That was about six hours. Right, yeah, so like I said, you, if you get lucky, you can do this in like under a fucking minute, which I think I am, considering he's only like 300 meters away, so I'm just gonna... Target located. Bring them in. And we're done. Okay. Good God, these take take so much punishment. Fucking hell. Oh yeah, these guys are like level twenty. Bam. Oh. They self-destructed. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm dead. You know, you don't have to revive immediately when you get down. Oh. Because you only get a certain amount of self-revives per game. Oh, shit. It's better to let other people try and revive you. Ah, okay. Plus, you can still shoot while you're down. You just use your secondary. And I think you can also crawl around if you're not, like, aiming. Stay 
Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Looks like heavy activity ahead. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Holy shit. Yeah, now you're starting to figure out the parkour. Yeah. <laughs> So, before we log off for real, I think a good way to f end it would be for you to do your mastery rank test. Mastery rank test, okay. Unread inbox messages. Yeah, you just hit cool. start, and you should have the option to uh, do the mastery rank. You have qualified for a Mastery Rank 1 test. You can only attempt this once per day. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You cannot be tested while a mission squad is active. Please exit the squad and try again. Alright. Hang on. I got it. Alright. Alright, there we go. Yeah, this is this should be pretty easy be considering it's <laughs> mastery rank so, one. Like Alright then. Okay, yeah, it's literally just shoot things with a gun. <laughs> oh Tip, aim for the little drone that's flying around, He's giving everybody else shield. Got it. No, you didn't. Oh. The one that's flying. Sorry. That one. Yeah. Got him. There. There. What the hell? A formidable performance. This test is now complete. Another job well executed. You are now mastery rank 
What? <laughs> yep. Yeah, so basically, Mass Rear Rank does a couple of things. Uh, the main one is whenever you try to mod something, your base mod capacity will start off at your mastery rank. So like 1 and 2, it doesn't really matter that much. Alright then. But if you get to like mastery rank 10, and you get a new weapon that you want to mod out, you'll start off with a mod capacity of 10, as opposed to 0. You'll still only get 30, but you'll start off with 10, and that's pretty nice because it'll let you get ahead. And if you make it to Mastery Rank 30, you'll basically just have the full mod loadout as soon as you get it. Nice. Or like the full capacity. But yeah, it also gives you additional daily standing by like 500 per Mastery level and also like 50 Void Traces per Mastery level. And you don't really have to worry about Void Traces so you start worrying about like relic cracking and shit like that. Alright then. That's for another time, I believe. Oh yeah. This was a big start to this game. So yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of content in this game, which is one of the reasons I enjoy it so much. It's probably gonna be too much to handle. Not not so much as like play the game, but like you know, clip up our moments and such. Like I would still play it on it other times, but uh, despite all that, um, for those in the chat who stuck around for a while, thank you for watching, and um, uh, expect more of this, as well as a few other um, big games like this, if that makes any sense. Operator, Fortis has determined the secrets to have Shut up! A combination <laughs> of heightened dopamine levels and a terrible memory. You're welcome! Thanks, Ortis. Yeah, really.